in order to boot into recovery press this power button and volume plus button simultaneously first you get a poco logo then you can remove the power button one more haptic feedback will receive for you then you can leave this volume up button and i already made a dedicated video for this latest recovery you can check out my channel and also i gave the links for uh, new latest firmware for poco x3 and first go to wipe here and select here advanced wipe and select dalvik cache and here something okay data metadata also you can clear here yes this so now swipe here to wipe it done go to install and select here storage select the micro sd card and select the download wherever you download the files I now i am making this folder such that i can easily see wherever what is available and first first the firmware also they mentioned clearly flash the latest 12.5.5 firmware here i have indian version also so for fair i will going to flash this global firmware you can flash indian firmware also as you can see and what's new in this recovery you just seen there is a metadata also you can clear from wipe section and come in coming to flashing method again go to install and select here let me go back select the rom zip files roms octavius 3.4 this is the latest build enforcing build takes a little bit of time wait until it gets flashed rom zip file has been flashed flashed successfully script success result go to wipe and select here format data and type here yes and press this tick button done go to this home press go to reboot and select system this is the flashing method for octavius 3.4 latest version for poco x3 as you can see it's booted into octavius let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys sampath you are watching sampath sfx reviews based on poco x3 custom rom there's the octavius 3.4 it mentioned as kernel and here it mentioned as 6000 mh don't worry it's applicable for both the versions for karna and surya 3.4 snow cone and security patch is updated to february 2022 25 latest one and the kernel uses 4.14.246 kernel has been used and ceiling status enforcing this is the latest build available for poco x3 and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last six minutes you can see here minimum is 74 average is 134 and maximum is 145 and uh, throttle to 88 percent of its maximum performance it's a little bit throttled at early i rebooted the device and straight away i started the test hence you can see that throttling that's all and uh, there is no widgets in the previous build also there were no widgets i don't know why it's not available and at 12 widgets that's missing and coming to dialer you get this kind of dialer here let me increase the volume and this is the volume panel you get and uh, you get direct video call feature and that's available no problem regarding that and there is a call recording feature also the other person will never notify that it's recording the call that's nice things you have this other color i mean dialer and this is the quick settings panel if you want you can add some of the options are given and it's really smooth even in settings also i will show you it's really really smooth and google photos you get unlimited storage no problem regarding that also coming into settings as you can see it's really quick just scroll here it's going to be fast enough that's i really liked in this rom into the quick settings panel you get that advanced restart button 
as you can see advanced start button is available in this ROM and coming into settings there are plenty of options regarding Octave Lab as you can see if you scroll down miscellaneous you get these kind of options here nothing new and visualizer you get this automatic color option if you want you can disable from here lava lamp is also given and you can adjust these things solid lines from here coming into visualizer as i said before it's over lock screen you get print of options always on display schedule is given now fingerprint success and error vibration you can enable or disable from here charging information and media art you can adjust here those are the lock screen customization and power menu as i said before you get advanced restart button coming into gestures here status bar and double tap on lock screen into sleeper working fine no problem regarding that navigation menu you get navigation bar as you can see show arrow keys while typing if want you can use this and on screen navigation bar is given and toggle torch when screen is off it's disabled if you want you can enable it out and volume panel you get volume steps print of options you can see here music control reorient volume rocker wave keyboard cursor control also you can adjust from volume buttons that's also there octave theming here monet customization is given you can choose custom colors and use black theme is given here that's really nice i was finding for this one actually in the source change log they have mentioned but in the i will show you further this all settings and wi-fi also you can change here settings monet customization this how it looks and coming into octave theming yeah just finished notifications you get ambient it's lighting vibrate and collect call waiting and disconnect you can enable or disable from here even kill app button is also added in this rom coming into quick settings you get plenty of options vibrate on touch edit icon service icon running you can enable or disable quiz footer warning show brightness ladder and animation style no animation if you want you can keep it out smart pull down on tiles animation interpolator is set to linear these all the settings in quick settings and status bar items also plenty are given in this rom colored status bar icons also you can enable from here bluetooth battery status carrier label traffic indicators battery settings like battery type you get just these settings plenty are available that's how it looks let me enable dark theme and see whether it's in pitch black condition or not yeah now it's in pitch black condition but for some reason the settings settings okay it takes a little bit of time to load that okay that's how it is it's fine that's present as you can see in the display settings in the dark theme there is no option here to use pitch black theme but it's present in the octavi lab that you need to keep in mind into the display settings you get all the basic settings night light is available you can adjust the intensity from here minimum maximum refresh rate i should keep to 120 hertz but it's still it was very good with 60 hertz comment signal icons auto rotate screen prevent accidental wake up tap to wake wake on plug display cutout color calibration options are plenty given here you can enable from here app refresh rate is a little bit added i think that's how it is and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below red color and also allow that bell notification such that whenever i, I release a new video you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like and subscribe to my channel guys many are watching it but not subscribing to my channel i hope you guys subscribe it and lcd features are also yeah and this all the display settings you get network and internet connection devices password accounts everything is fine or wallpaper and style as i there are plenty of wallpapers it takes time sometimes to load that themed icons is given app grid is also given from very good 5 to 9 is also available here plenty of options in app grid is also given in this rom that's fine coming into battery settings battery usage 1 hour 4 minutes i was setting all these apps i need to download every app and i need to run the benchmark as well. it takes a little bit of time and that's how it is battlegrounds mobile india takes lots lot more time to download and android benchmark result also it takes a lot more time that's how it is the battery life is really good as you can see here and battery saver extreme battery saver is not given 
I don't know why battery manager is given this all the battery settings it's fine even charging is also fine in this ROM no problem regarding the charging also let me show you the charging animation how it is okay you get that Android 12 of obling effect and the charging information I'm using 10 watt charger even I tested with 33 watt charger just here I kept this charger it's too long from cord so I hope you understand it's working fine no problem regarding the charging and battery life is also pretty good in this ROM this is the ROM and let me show you sound settings you get me sound enhancer here okay you get something called select scene that's really good this was like Dolphin was like that it was present in BUA that's been added in Octavi OS that's really good and you can choose the headphone type and preset that's there and haptic feedback also you can adjust the level of vibration intensity from here that's cool thing to have in this ROM and all the basic sound settings are included in this ROM as you can see here that's working fine and uh, into app settings you can change the default apps from here and game settings is also given game dashboard is given that's a google gaming mode you can say and special app access screen time assistant default apps those are given and notifications bubbles are given annoying notifications all the options are given in each and every options and location also working fine no problem regarding that also into the security settings they don't have face unlock many roms adding the face unlock but it's not available in this room i have the fingerprint scanner let me show you that as you can see it's fast enough Just, it takes a little bit of okay not the fastest but still it's fast but it depends upon you that's how it is the face lock could be better but let's see when they will add the face unlock in this and coming to speed test in this room yeah, I can see it's pulling up to 90 to 95 I have 100 mbps geo giga fiber connection even it's mobile internet also I tested it's working fine carrier aggregation is also working fine no problem regarding that and earpiece quality while calling is also fine enough no problem headphone jack quality and dual stereo speakers are also working fine no problem regarding that let me see the benchmark results CPU throttling it was a little bit throttle but the actual benchmark results are fine enough as you can see single score is 543 and multi score is 1537 and kernel user is linux 4.14.246 has been used and coming to anti benchmark results it's also fine 350000 as you can see the temperature raise is just 0 0.2 degree celsius and 2% battery drainage has been noticed during this testing safety net status also get passed no need to worry regarding that also as you can see you can use all the payment applications like google pay whatsapp phone pay whatever you want to use you can use it out even you can use magix model and root your smartphone that's also fine no problem drm info you get level 1 certification no problem regarding watching the ott application in hd resolution fm radio is also given no problem in that maps working fine as i said before also and uh, let me see the bgm before that you get camera no camera application sorry google go camera is not included i just fly, installed this arno build jcam it's working fine even video also works fine in this gcam if you want you can use any other gcam ports also no problem regarding that into settings system and developer options is also turned on by default there are plenty of options from here also but turn it off if you want you can turn it on by tapping on build number that's not problem and into the gesture swipe to screenshot is given and system navigation gesture navigation and good thing is you can adjust both the length of the navigation bar and the radius that's very good in my opinion and added this pitch black condition in dark mode that's also very good addition in this room it's really really good let's see the actual performance how it handle the bgmi let's see in this video into game settings nothing fancy here you get just smooth plus ultra and hd plus high no 60 fps gameplay i mean settings if you want you can enable using jfx tool or file transfer method 
but out of the ram you won't get it and regarding loudspeaker as you can see it's fine enough I noticed little bit of lag in the gameplay. There is a bit lag in the gameplay. I don't know because of ROM or what. I'll lower a little bit the sound settings. Okay, I'll come back. This is the BGMA gameplay. It's definitely playable, but a little bit of lag. I don't know. Maybe because too much of, I mean, tested these things. That's why it's lag. But that's how this is. This is actually very good ROM previously also. It's very good ROM actually, Octavio OS. Now it's updated with some of the settings like basic things like that dark theme. You can see complete pitch black type of dark theme that i really like it if you also like it give it a like to this video and that's all guys in this video i hope i explained everything in this video thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling baba for now